Hi there, my name is Diva Amon and I'm a deep sea biologist. And today we're going to be joined for our video about the deep ocean by Izzy, the giant deep sea isopod. So I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean, but I'm currently based in London. And there, my research tries to answer two main questions. Firstly, what lives in our world's deep oceans? And secondly, how are we humans impacting it? So what exactly is the deep ocean? Well, it's everything from about 200 meters depth all the way to the deepest point on our planet, which is called Challenger Deep, at just under 11,000 meters or 11 kilometers. And our deep ocean is massive. It is our largest ecosystem by far. And that means that it's really poorly explored. We have better maps of the moon, Venus and Mars than we do our own ocean floor. So up until about a hundred years ago, the deep sea was presumed to be pretty boring, pretty barren, just generally not a lot of life down there. And that's because it's a really difficult place to live. There's no light past about 400 meters, temperatures hover just above freezing, and there are crushing pressures. On top of that, there's not a lot of food down in the deep sea because most of it comes from the sea surface. But improvements to technology and our ability to explore have meant that this perception of the deep sea has changed massively. We now know that just like on land, there are a variety of habitats. There are sea mounts, mountains at the bottom of the sea. There are coral and sponge gardens. There are lakes made of brine. There are flat sedimented plains. There are hydrothermal vents. There are whale falls, wood falls, canyons, cold seeps, trenches, you name it, the list goes on. And because of that, there is really high biodiversity. Essentially, there are different species for every different habitat and more. There are thought to be about 1 million species in our oceans, two thirds of which still haven't been discovered. And most of those are in the deep sea. And not only do we know more about what lives down in the deep ocean, but we also know more about how important it is. The deep sea is known to regulate our climate by sequestering carbon and absorbing heat. It cycles nutrients, it plays a role in detoxification of our oceans, and it also provides us with really important resources, food, energy, potentially in the future, medicine or minerals. We need to keep exploring, we need to keep researching, and we need to have a much better appreciation of what's down there. Because it's only by doing all of those things will we be able to manage our deep oceans better and effectively preserve them. Not just for us, but for our friends like Izzy the Isopod too.